Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the RV plumbing system. More specifically, the tubing or piping, whatever you want to call it, that goes through the RV. Older RVs have copper piping going through and the newer ones have PEX. And there's a joke going on here between me and Cheryl. I keep calling it Plex. Okay, so, so every time he says Plex, take a drink. Yeah, we're gonna make it a, a drinking game video. Anyway, all right, so the difference between copper and PEX is you can't do this with copper. Well, if you're strong enough, you can, but only once because it's gonna kink and that's no good. The other difference between it is when it comes to freezing. If you put a glass of water, half a glass of water in the freezer and come back and check on it later, there's gonna be more space taken up in the cup than originally with water. Why? When water freezes, it expands. So when you have water and copper pipes that don't give and the water expands, what happens? Something has to, so the pipes let go. With PEX, can't drink yet. The difference is, number one, this is more flexible and this is able to actually flex out a little bit too. So the chances of you ever getting a leak in an RV that has PEX <laughs> tubing will be rare. If you do get a leak in your plumbing system and you have PEX in there, chances are it's whatever is connected to either side because the connectors are the weak point in a PEX system. Uh, what the heck, PEX system, go ahead everybody drink. All right, so uh, the reason we're doing this is Maggie has something I've been wanting to fix. This is what I'm talking about. Now, if you look at where the four low drain points are, can anybody tell which one's not like the other? And I'm not talking to one that's higher than the other either. <laughs> I mean, they still all work. The problem is you gotta play with this one to get it to turn and then the same going back. So I want them all going the same way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna turn it around and then they're all gonna be the same. Matter of fact, I'll end up raising this one some too. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're going to actually cut some of the PEX tubing and we are going to take off the PEX clamps and put PEX clamps back on. So it's gonna give you a general idea wherever your problem is inside your RV, you at least have a general idea how to do it. Again, we're not professionals, so know your limits. Now, when it comes to PEX tubing, the way that they're secured, you have clamps right here. This clamp is not tightened down yet. This one is, well, it's also all screwed up because I just tightened it. But what you'll see, the tool that we're gonna use will grab here and it's gonna clamp it like this while it's around here. So it's just gonna clamp it around and we'll show you once we get under there. That's what's gonna hold it on. Now, as far as these go, if you look on this side, you have those two dimples in the squares, but then you have this tab coming out and it's bent down. See how it's sideways? So to get this off, you need to straighten that tab up and then you need to pry up on this. That's one way of doing it. That's not the way I'm gonna do it because it's very hot and humid out here. I'm going to be using a Dremel tool <laughs> right here, okay? We'll have links in the description box down below to all of this. But what I'm gonna do come, when I come in on it, if you wanna come back in, hon. When I'm bringing the Dremel down, I'm gonna be cutting right through here. You only have to cut through one side. Do not cut the tubing itself. All right, let's go over some of the things that we're gonna to need today. Right here, these four tools are just in case. <laughs> okay. Take a quick little peek. Yeah. Okay. Now I already explained how the, um, the clamps work, but because it's hot, I'll be using a Dremel tool. It's gonna to be so much easier to take it off. And when I need to pull the packs, half a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a sip, people. Off of the valve. I'm gonna use the heat gun to actually pull it off, just to loosen it up a little bit. So I'm not continually prying on it. Then we move over to this side of the table. These here are everything that you can use to cut the PEX tubing. This is a utility knife. I recommend this only if you have absolutely nothing else. Just take it, come in, dig into it, and then just kind of, oops, cut around it. See, it's not really that great. And I don't know if you can see that. It's not really that flat of a top. You really want, you really want it to be level on the top. So, okay, so that's that one. Then there's this one. Get my pieces the same size here. Like I said, this is, this is what we use when we do copper. It will do plastic. There we go, all right. So that's the cut that you were getting on that. You can see it's kind of curved over a little bit. So, not a big fan of that. The next one. Get these in, get it down a little piece. We'll just cut it right through. But the problem is, it pinched it. 
Now, you can force the whatever you're putting back in there and it will probably be fine, but that I just don't trust. And then last but not least, we'll have this uh, links in the description box down below. This is by a company called Chalk Bite. And all you do is you just squeeze it to get it onto it. Then just turn it and boom, you're done. That was the quickest yeah. by far. Yeah, so I highly recommend one of these. And again, we'll have links to all of this stuff down in the description box below. Now, when it comes to actually clamping them, we already showed you what the clamp looks like, okay? And this is the tool that will end up doing it because you grab in here, okay? Now, mind you, once you start clamping, because it's ratcheting, the only way you're gonna, it's only, only way it's gonna release is when it's done. So, well, I'll just burn one for you guys. Hear it? <laughs> now it just popped. And it came out. So that's what happened. If it was in here on a fitting, it will stay round. <laughs> but... Okay. All right, so those are all the tools that we are going to be using today. First thing we need to do is we need to get the old one off. And anytime you work on your water lines or whatever, drain them. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to pull it apart and you're just going to be hosed. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got going on in here. All right, so I'm going to come in from the side here. Remember, you only have to cut through the first layer. Just be careful. Right. You see that it released, and I did not touch the tube at all. All right, let that cool down a little bit, and then we'll take that off. All right, so we're just gonna grab hold of this and kind of bend it out a little bit. can get it out of there. Because I use a dremel, it's probably going to be hot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do, because once you take the setting, the um, the clamp off, they say to go at least two inches from it before you uh, reattach it. So we're going to try cutting this off with it still in, because it'd be a lot easier to remove it. And say so we are empty, and there's still some water in there. And right, now because I got the room, I'm going to pull this up because it would be easier to cut it. I'm going to come up approximately the two inches that I need, or a little bit more even. And there we go, that's just how easy that works. And there goes the excess water that's still in there. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to pull this off. Let's go to the table. Nice breeze. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> nice breeze. Now, if you don't want to use a Dremel, we are going to try and take this one off without using a Dremel. But just remember, when the wind's not blowing, it's very hot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp on to the tab. I'm going to tamp on, clamp on to the end, the edge here, and see if I can't straighten that out. I'm not even saying I can do this, so. I can't pry it up. Oh, well, wait a minute. That did something, didn't it? Oh, there we go. Now we're getting it. Okay, see how it's coming up? Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. And just bend it out the way. So which tools worked for you? Oh, uh, yeah. Just came in under here and I clamped where it was. But, I mean, I did have that up some... I was able to force this underneath here, which pulled it up, and then the screwdriver forced it up the rest of the way. So those are the two, two tools that work the best. Well, for this particular case, yes. And then just unbend it. I should slide off now. Huh? No. Nope. There we go. So there you go. Dremel. Well, wire cutters and screwdriver. There you go. There's all sorts of different ways that you can do it. A lot. Of, some people use torches. Some people use the knife here, and they just score along. I'm going to use a heat gun because there's really nothing in here that's going to get destroyed by heat. So. Heat up around it. As if we need more heat today. Yeah, no kidding. That's why I'm blowing it away from me. No offense, huh? <laughs> Let's see how that did. Oops. There you go. Pop right off. So, and the fitting itself looks fine. 
So we'll do the exact same thing on this side to get this one off. Ooh, well, not coming up the tube. Holy moly. <laughs> Yeah, so right, I'm gonna go over and just see how much, because we already know where this is going in there, because I've already cut that, but I'm gonna need to, a length to come down, because I really don't want it draining in the water compartment. No, that wouldn't be so good. Even though it's called the water compartment, I don't think that's what they meant. Got a tape measure? Uh, I will in a minute. Oh, also keep in mind, PEX tubing comes in colors, so red which should go for anything that's hot water, blue should go for anything that's not hot water. Because <laughs> so I don't want to say cold water, because on days like today, something. It's water more warm. Water tank is warm. <laughs> so, but they have other colors too. It's just easier to use the red and the blue because you either have hot water or water that's not hot in your RV. Just make your life easier. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to five inches. We're using the middle of the table here. And uh, I'll put a mark. Anything for a mark here. And then we'll just uh, we'll add this. It doesn't matter because this is the piece that's going to hang out the bottom. Yep. Okay. So right at about five inches. There you go. Seems like it takes about three turns. Isn't that how many uh, licks it takes to get to the bottom of a Tootsie Roll? Tootsie Pop? <laughs> Crunch. I had a little piece on there, so I'm going to end up just using this side anyway. I sped through that. Alright, so I'm going to put it on here. This will be the bottom. I'm going to take one of the clamps. This whole kit I'm going to put in the description box down below too because this is this thing's awesome and it comes with the um, three quarter and the half inch. Everything in your RV should probably be at least a feet half inch. And when you put these on, put that all the way up there. I mean that actually popped on. Okay, it's right, right butted right up against it. That's why you want that straight cut. Oh, okay, let me see how that's yeah. right up against it. That's nice. Okay, now. When you do this, you want this to be quarter to a yeah, quarter to an eighth to a quarter inch from the from the edge. So let me get this started. It's the only thing with these. You gotta get them started. You need three hands. You gotta be all the way open. They do have one of these that you can do with one hand. Uh, I'll link it down below, but I don't think it's worth the money. Now with that, so now see I've already squeezed it a little bit, and if I let go, it stays. That's what's nice about the ratcheting. Oh. That way, there I can line this up. Let me get up so I can see. I'm gonna go right to about there. All right, there you go. That is put on there very, very well. Pretty. Now the reason why we cut some off of the tube in there when we took the valve out is because these will deform the edges of the tube so you really don't want to use that same spot again they say go at least two inches and you'll be fine clean fit clean fit all right let's go inside the compartment all right i pre-clamped this just a little bit so that i can get it to stay on here because it's kind of a hard area to work in that's about where i want it now this we're going to drain tube down this is coming up and i've got to hold it and clamp it at the same time, like this. See, yeah, I got about a quarter inch there, and that's all the way up. Turn it towards you a little bit. There you go. All right, let's just see what we got here. Nice. All right, look, they all go the same way now. That hey. looks much neater. Yes, it does. And that will take care of my little problem of looking in here and going, ah, oh, that does not work for me. Wow. All right. It's the little things that make you happy. Yes, yes, yes. Now we'll put some water in and make sure that that doesn't leak. And I got, yeah, I got about a quarter inch there too. Good. Excellent. Hey everyone, as you can see, I think Brandy, my assistant came to join me now that the job is over. So anyway, that is how you work with Plex. <laughs> Plumbing. Oh, did I say Plex? My bad. <laughs> Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you want to become part of the Grow and Get Gone with this gang, right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. And after you do that, don't forget to ring the bell. You'll be notified every time we put a new video out.
If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below, or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back. We always do. Because, well, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We get gone with us. Bye. Flex, flex, flex. <laughs> Give me a drink.